One of the best ways to grow your channel is to rank your videos in the search. Over my time on YouTube, I've been able to get 25 million views just from people finding my videos in the search. And today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I do it. What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I find my keywords as well as how I optimize my keywords to rank higher in the search. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you three ways on how I find my keywords, all of which are absolutely free, as well as a few strategies I use to optimize my title, description, and tags with those keywords. And I'll put all the timestamps down below so you can jump to any parts if you want. And with that being said, let's get started. Now, the first way to find keywords for your videos is to actually just use YouTube and YouTube has a very strong autocomplete search uh, bar. So you can actually find a lot of keywords straight from the website, but you have to make sure that you're signed out of your account and you're in incognito mode. This way, YouTube isn't giving you autofill suggestions based off your previous viewing history. It's giving you the suggestions based off of demand and a clean slate. And all you want to do is just type in a keyword for the kind of video you want to make and YouTube will automatically give you suggestions in two different ways. So the first way is to just type in the keyword. So for example, I'm just going to type in Zoom because I want to make a tutorial on Zoom. And you can already see a bunch of phrases that I can use for my title, description, and tags. For example, Zoom tutorial for beginners, Zoom video conferencing, or Zoom meeting tutorial are all great. And if I use the arrow keys and go down, I can even further expand this and see that people also search for Zoom tutorial for beginners 2020. And this can be another tag that I use, or I can make my title this because it covers the entire phrase Zoom tutorial for beginners, as well as Zoom tutorial for beginners 2020. So I'm hitting two birds with one stone. Now, another way you can use autofill to find key keywords is by typing in your main keyword and then going to the start of the word and then just typing in underscore space. And now what you're going to do is you're going to get the keyword phrases that are being searched where the word that you typed in is either in the middle or at the end instead of the beginning. So for example, people are also searching up how to use Zoom meeting and how to use Zoom. So by using these two methods, you can use the Google search bar to, or the, sorry, the YouTube search bar to find phrases, both where Zoom is at the beginning of the phrase and at the middle or the end of the phrase. So YouTube on its own is a very powerful tool. Now, the second way that you can find keywords and keyword phrases for your videos is by using the Google Keyword Planner. And I'm going to link this down below in the description so you can just click on the link. And basically the Google Keyword Planner is a advanced tool which you can actually use to see the amount of searches that certain keywords and phrases are getting in Google. Now this isn't showing you how many people are searching for a certain topic on YouTube, but you have to realize that YouTube is the second largest search engine right behind Google. So if you're getting the exact numbers straight from Google, you know, it's pretty indicative of how the demand is also on YouTube. And so you can use these keywords and see which ones are the most popular. And while you might not be able to use the exact numbers to see how many views you're going to get, you can still rank which keywords are better than others by using this tool. And I think it's really powerful. So what I've done here is first of all, chosen the location and set it to all locations because by default, it sets it to your country. And then what I did is I typed in three different phrases. So how to use Zoom, Zoom tutorial, and Zoom meeting guide. And what you can see is that the first three uh, rows are the terms that I searched for, and it shows me the demand of them. And so it's very clear that how to use Zoom is being searched a lot more. And so this should be what my title should revolve around. And it also shows me this little graph, which is essentially the trend and how much it's been trending over time. But what's really good about the Google tool is that it also gives me other suggestions as well as how much each of these suggestions are being searched. And if I just click on average monthly searches, it will rank all of these potential keyword phrases by the amount of searches they have. And so this uh, planner is actually telling me that another keyword I should use is how to use Zoom app because it's getting even more searches than Zoom tutorial. And I can use this to also take note of a bunch of potential keywords, which I can all find through the keyword planner. Now, the final way to find keywords is by using a Chrome extension called TubeBuddy, which I've linked down below. Now, TubeBuddy has both free and paid features, but the Keyword Researcher is actually a free tool. I think you're limited to how many searches you can use per month, but if you're going to be posting, you know, every week or so, then you can use this tool for absolutely free. And so all you wanna do is go on your YouTube homepage once you've downloaded the extension, click on this TubeBuddy button, 
and then go to the keyword explorer and it's going to open up the tool. And here what you can do is you can search for keywords and the difference between the keyword explorer and the keyword planner that Google has is this will give you the volume of how many people are searching for a video on YouTube rather than Google. So if I look up how to use Zoom and I click on explore, what you're going to see is you're going to see the overall score and it's giving a very poor score right now because a lot of people have made videos on this topic since you know people have been transitioning to Zoom over the last couple of months. But what's even more important is that down here you can see different metrics such as the search volume and the competition. So like I was saying, a lot of people have made videos. And then if you go down, you can also see the number of monthly searches. So they use different tools to estimate how many people are searching for this term on YouTube. And you can make note of this. And then on the right side over here, what you can also see is other common video tags that people use if they look up how to use Zoom. So what I can do is I can click on Zoom tutorial if I wanted to compare it. And here what I can see once it loads is that there's less people searching for Zoom tutorial over how to use Zoom, similar to the results from the keyword planner as well. Now, another way you can use TubeBuddy to find keywords is by actually searching for any video. So here I just searched for how to use Zoom meeting. And over here, what this tool does, this is really powerful in my opinion, it shows you which tags are being used the most by the videos that are all ranking at the top of the search. So instead of going into every single video and seeing what tags you're using, TubeBuddy actually aggregates all of the tags and shows you what percent of videos are using each, each tag. So sometimes when I wanna upload something really quickly, this is how I find my keywords because it saves me time. Now, if I wanted to see which tags a certain popular video is doing, I can just click on the video and TubeBuddy will show me what tags the certain video has. And this is also a feature that you can access for free. And you also have the option to copy these tags. So once it loads up, you can see on the right side, TubeBuddy is fetching the tags. And these are the tags that I use for my video. And you can just copy them right away as well. And this is really good if you wanna do some more granular research. But these are the three ways that I find keywords, all of which are free. I use the YouTube, autofill, I use the Google Keyword Planner, and then I use TubeBuddy to find keywords that I can use as well as the ones my competitors are using. And this gives me a really good picture of all of the different short and long phrases I need to put in my title, description, and tags. And now I'm going to be showing you exactly how I optimize those three components of my videos. First, I'm going to show you how you can optimize your title in three different ways. Now, I made this video on the best free video editors, and there was four uh, phrases that I found that I wanted to rank for because they were all getting searched quite a bit. So these were the four phrases, but of course you can only have one title and you can only have a hundred characters in that title. And so my first tip is to, first of all, try to use up as much of the space as possible. I always aim to have at least 60 characters just because you want to put in as many keywords as possible in the title because YouTube uses this to rank its videos. And you want to make sure you do this while you still have a cohesive sentence. So don't just keyword stuff, but be very strategic about how you use these keywords. Which brings me to my second step, second tip, and that is to be as efficient as possible. So I couldn't make my title all four of these, but one thing you might not have noticed right away is that the title that I chose for my video, which is top five best free video editing software 2020 no watermarks, actually has all four of these titles in the main title. So for example, you can see that one of the titles I wanted was top five video editing software. And this title has top five video editing software. I also wanted to use best free video editing software. And this title also has best free video editing software within the title. It also has free video editing software 2020 within the title as well. And effectively, I've been able to combine four titles into one title. And this brings me to my third tip, which is utilize brackets and colons. So for example, this is one sentence, but I used brackets to make my title even longer. And I put no watermarks in the bracket. And the reason I put no watermarks in brackets is so that I can also rank for free video editing software, no watermarks, because this title has all of those components now. I could have also used brackets instead of colons. So I could have made my title best video editing software, top five, free software you can use with no watermarks. And as you can see, because I used 
the colon, I'm able to add another phrase to my title. So I think that using brackets and colons are a really easy way to make your titles longer and add more keywords to them without making it sound too stuffed and you can still have a very natural sounding title for your viewers as well. Next, let's talk about the description. So there's two uh, big tips that I have in order to optimize your description with all the keywords that you came up with. The first one is that you wanna to try to fill up as much space as possible. Now, this can be really tough because the limit for descriptions is 5,000 characters. So you don't have to go all the way up to 5,000, but it's always really important to write uh, paragraphs or sentences about your video, just so that you can put in as many keywords as possible. Now, don't just put tags in your description because that's against the terms of service, but I always like to write you know, a paragraph or two on the topic of my video because one, it helps my viewers and two, it lets me put in phrases where, you know, I can actually add more keywords without actually stuffing my description with them. So for example, uh, the first paragraph I have is, you know, today I'm going to be showing you the top five best free video editing software in 2020. And already I'm using a bunch of keywords. I hope that you guys like this video of me sharing the top five best free video editors. Since so many people are starting YouTube, I thought it would be a good idea to share what I think are the best free video editors. And you know, even though I'm giving a description, it's a good opportunity for me to use keywords so that I can rank higher in the search. And the second tip I have is to use timestamps. So if you scroll down, you can see that I've used timestamps over here, which lets you viewers know where they can find different topics in this one video. So this serves three benefits or three purposes. The first one is that, first of all, my viewers are going to be able to use this to find a certain part of the video if they wanna to jump to it. Second of all, I have another chance to write about my video. So here I'm writing about each software and this is another chance for me to add keywords. And third, this is a way that Google actually scans videos. It looks at the timestamps and you can use these to actually rank higher in Google. So for example, if I go to this search term on how to use Excel, you can see that Google has pulled a video and it hasn't just pulled a video, but it's also pulled a certain timestamp of that video. And if you have these timestamps in your videos, then your videos can also rank in Google like this video right here. So I think adding timestamps is very important. And finally, we're going to be optimizing the tags of our videos. And I have two tips here. So the first one is to, of course, use up all 500 characters that you're allowed to while being as relevant as possible. But the second tip I have is to use both short tail and long tail keywords. So short tail keywords are single words or one or two words that you see down here. And long tail ones are the phrases that we talked about earlier. And it's really important to use both. You wanna use long tail phrases and keywords so that your video can rank for these exact search terms. For example, if someone searches top five best free video editing software, I want to rank, so I'm going to be making this phrase one of my tags. But the reason you wanna use short term, sorry, short tail keywords and single words as well is because some people might search things that you might not have put in your tags. For example, if someone looks up top five video editing for, video, for Windows 10, you know, it's not a tag that I used and it's not a sentence in my description. But because I have these short tail keywords, they can actually be pieced together to make that exact sentence. So for example, if someone looked up top five video editing for Windows 10, I actually have the tags top five video editing for Windows 10. And this is a really cool trick in my opinion because it lets you rank for different search phrases that might not be searched as much and aren't worth the time to be in your tags or description, but you'll still be able to rank for them because you have the words and you know the algorithm will piece by piece put these tags together and show the viewer that your video is also relevant because it is. And this is a way you can rank for as many different terms as possible. So those are all the tips I have and hopefully this video was really helpful. If it was, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iofo and I'm signing out.